Talking about conspiracy theories. And hiding in plain sight. Yeah, we got this article here about uh, lizard people from Vox.com. That's right. And this is written by Alex Abad Santos. Great job, Alex. This was five years ago. Let's give it a look. It's the title. The title? Well, you just read it. Oh, this wait, you did The greatest you didn't. political <laughs> conspiracy ever created. Isn't it marvelous? It is. All right, let me, let me start you off. Okay. Last November, the political fate of America was once again put to vote. So that's five years ago last November. But for the millions of Americans who believed in lizard people, this vote had bigger implications, like thwarting an ongoing plot of world domination. Domination. The idea of shape-shifting lizards taking human forms in a plot to rule America and the world has become one of the most majestic and marvelous conspiracy theories created by mankind. Or lizard kind, if you will. Kind. Kind. In 2008, lizard people, air quotes, found its way into the Minnesota midterm ballot with some controversy. As pundits... Pundits? Yeah. As pundits continue to extrapolate on what the Republican win in the midterms means for the country. There are people around this country who hope that their votes did something crucial, kept the country safe from lizard people for the next few years. Here's a brief guide to the world of lizard people, true believers. What is a lizard person, man? Tell me. <laughs> well, it's just what it sounds like. Like a person's lizard? Lizard people are cold, bloody, humanoid reptilians, man. Who have the power to shape shift into a human form, dude? Well, <laughs> bro, according to David Ick, a new age philosopher, man, and one of those most prominent theories, theorists, you know, like in the lizard people game, these creatures have like had their claws in humankind since ancient time, and like. World leaders like Queen Elizabeth and George W. Bush, the Clintons, and Bob Hope are all lizard people. Man, I've heard of those. Let me... Encouraging those conspiracy theorists' territory, it even claims that lizards are behind the secret societies, like the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Oh, they were bro. Illuminati, dude. Bro, you don't even Illuminati. know about that Illuminati, bro. Illuminati. Oh my god. Illuminati. Yeah. Wait, people actually believe this stuff? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's you, <man>. bro. <laughs> it is, bro, man. My uncle's a lizard, man. Yeah. <laughs> my son's a lizard, man. <laughs> dude, my dog's a lizard, man, dude. dude man. That's why I keep him in a tank, man. <laughs> dude. I haven't seen your lizard in like five days, bro. Bro, he's like... I think it's running, like, the Canada now, man. Yeah, I think he's running, like, the political agenda in my kitchen, dude. Oh, my God, he's, like, part of the shadow government. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Let's smoke some weed. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's legal in Canada. Ick's 1998 book, The Biggest Secret, is considered an important tome in lizard people theory. Oh, my God, it is. Here's a big one. Wait, people actually believe in this stuff, question mark? Yes, it says underneath in the shortest paragraph I've ever seen. Oh man, so long. How many Americans believe in lizard people? Back in April of 2013, public policy polling conducted a poll about conspiracy theories like aliens and imposter Paul McCartney and of course lizard people. Why was my asked about this? No one ever talked to me and said, hey, you want to vote? I don't know, man. I want, I Where were like you to vote. back in 2013? Probably dead. <laughs> At that point, probably dead. Yeah. And um, the polling organization... Oh, oh no. <laughs> and the polling organization found that 4% of Americans believe in lizard people, while the other 7% <clears throat> were unsure. Taken to an absurd extreme, that would imply around 12 million Americans fill up, bump, a lizard person... Oh, was it the answer? No, it wasn't. Scholar and writer of the Washington Post found public policy polling is a serious outlet, but it's also known for some trolley polls. 
So these results have to be taken with a grain of salt. Trolley pulls. I would like to see trolley other pulls. trolley pulls. Keep in mind that this might not be counting all the people who, in their heart of hearts, believe that lizard people exist, but are nervous that they will be found out if they publicly disclose their beliefs. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the ones who don't want to think like, oh wait, yeah. I believe in lizards, but I believe harder than anyone else, so I'm going to say <laughs> no, so they don't know I'm right. a believer. Yeah. So it's actually... So how do, how do those who believe in lizard people know when someone is a lizard person? There are many different theories. If you look at the forms of Excite, there are numerous posts either telling people how to spot a lizard people or asking how to pick a lizard person out of a crowd. Yes, how do I spot a lizard person? One of the top lizard people journalists in the field made a handy guide last year that called lizard people identifiers. Here's the tells of a lizard person. Green eyes. Good eyesight or hearing. Having red hair. A sense of not belonging to the human race. Unex Ask your friend if they say they don't belong to the human race, they're a lizard person. Unexplained scars on the body. A love of space. And low blood pressure. This easily identifies all of the lizard people. All gingers. It concisely cuts <laughs> down to exact specifications what a lizard, lizard person is. So that's why they say ginger people have no souls, because they're lizard people. In fact, I think I found someone who had all of these, uh, like, last week. A brief survey of X forms also point out physical features like having a smile where bottom teeth show. Eyes that change size or eyes with abnormally sized pupils <laughs> have, as potential lizard person too. Having a smile or bottom teeth show. <laughs> so if you just you just don't look that great in the photo, I guess. So you just always gotta raise your lower lip up whenever you're smiling. This guy's rude. Like he had like a kid in his class back in school who have like had a weird smile, <laughs> a little Neanderthal kind of smile, and he was like, that guy, I don't like that guy, he's probably a lizard person or that's, something. That's right. And he, he got all of his friends, he was popular, right? He got all of his friends to start calling this guy a lizard person, like, lizard person! And then everyone was like, lizard person, are they real? And then he decided to cash in on that, because he's an asshole. Oh, yeah, yeah, good times. That's just my uh, minute to minute but there's explanation. But there's also a theory that these physical attributes mean nothing. UFO chick, an avid contributor to the boards, explained that what makes lizard people lizard people is something that you can't see. Bull. It's, uh, it's red hair, green eyes, good eyesight. <laughs> it's Low about the soul inhabiting the body, not the physical body. UFO chick reminds us all. <laughs> Thanks for reminding us. What do lizard people want? World domination. Easy, obviously. Uh, where do lizard people come from? Aside from people's paranoia, lizard people are thought to primarily come from the constellation Draco. And not just because we named it Draco. <laughs> Though there are some theories that reptoids, nice. another term for reptilians if you didn't know, no, I don't know. Uh, come from other systems like Sirius and Orion too. They're Basically, they're race, like aliens. Bigot. Yeah, don't be a reptilian bigot. <laughs> so they come from three different solar systems. All they all came to Earth to all hide in our our world. Right. Amazing. Draco. So they're illegal aliens. <laughs> that, that was a knee slap. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah. Draco is, of course, the constellation that is allegedly shaped like a dragon. Or if you go into its Latin name, Draconem, it means huge serpent. Get your facts straight. Like Omegaird. It's the eighth largest constellation, don't you know? Reptoids from Draco are thought to be very tall and have retractable wings. Reptoids.com reported. <laughs> oh, thanks, Reptoids.com. Oh my gosh, is that real website? Dragon people. <laughs> Ex-believers say that lizard people have been visiting Earth since ancient times and breeding with humans, which results in more lizard people and more humans with the potential what? to be lizard people. No way! But how do they know if they're lizard people? If we don't find out if they're lizard people, it'll be the end of all of us. I could be! No! Is there any actual documentation of lizard people affecting the American government? No. 
<laughs> but sometimes lizard people oh, make national news anyway. Back in the 2008 oh, Minnesota, Minnesota Senate race, a man named Lucas Davenport created a national stir when he tabbed lizard people. Racist. As his right in vote, outlets like the Wall Street Journal and TV shows like Hardball noticed too. But Davenport wasn't an actual believer. So he was just an asshole. <laughs> I get it now. For those unfamiliar with the infamous lizard people ballot, there you go. There's a link. There you go. A friend of mine, we didn't like the candidates. So we were first going to write in revolution because we thought that was good and to the point, Davenport wrote. And then we thought the lizard people could be even funnier. And there was a kind of running inside gag between us, some friends and I. Davenport's vote was thrown out. <laughs> no, no, not Davenport. No, there yeah. was time now. Yeah, that's all that. There was no, so Mr. much Davenport. time. Which famous celebrities are lizard people? Now here's the here's the cut. Here's the rub. <laughs> uh, all right, give us give us a rundown. Here's, here's the list right now. All right, Barack Obama, okay. Donald Rumsfeld. Okay. Showing that lizard people transcend party lines. Oh my god. Madonna, Katy Perry, Bill Clinton, and Angelina Jolie, among oh, wow. others. Wow. There's even more. They're all cold blooded. Those are the those are some of the headliners. Yeah. Essentially everyone you see on TV. Bruh, am I a lizard person? Yes. Possibly. Without a doubt. Only you can know for sure. But hey, there's worse things that could be than a humanoid lizard with plans of world domination. That's pretty ambitious and admirable. Congratulations. They're not doing a great job, I'll be honest. Yeah, no, they're doing pretty horrible. They're, they're not, unless they're already everywhere. Law. But why don't they just rise up already? Yeah. Maybe they're still trying to get other countries. Well, you know what? They sleep during the daytime. France. they like sleeping on rocks because it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> How to tell if you're a lizard person? If you go to the beach and you see a lot of people laying on rocks... That's oh a my person. god, all the people at the beach is It's great. best to shoot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what, what do you think there, Goose? Do you, uh... Uh, I'm a believer, do you think I gotta that, say. Do you think that there's lizard people? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm a, I'm a huge believer in uh, lizard people. I, I believe that they're among us and that they uh, just they just want to be, like, be a part of us. They want to lead us to a better world where we don't exist. And, uh... <laughs> wow. Well, here's the thing. Maybe Liz people already did take over. Here's the crazy theory that I just came up with just now. Okay. Liz people since ancient times inbred with humans so that people can be more lizard people. But we don't look really any different. So, since it's back in ancient times, it's possible that everywhere is already contaminated by like 90% lizard people. Lizard people are the missing link. Maybe. Yeah, that's where it is. We solve science. There we go, on the folklore scrolls. If everyone's already a lizard person, then they mean they've already taken over and there's no if reason to expose If you're a lizard themselves. person, or if you're not a lizard person, leave a comment down below. Saying if you're a lizard person or not a lizard person. And then also leave that like, make sure to subscribe, and uh, yeah, yeah, just tell your friends, and uh, we'll be back again next week. Right to your local government. Yeah. Just right, right, assuring them that you are yourself or not a lizard person. I heard from the folklore scrolls that you are a lizard person. Is this true? Yeah. And ask them. <laughs> ask them if it's Check true. Check yes or no and send and a note back and to me. Send them a link to this, this podcast. Or once to make the video, the video. You're welcome. Pass All a right. note to your classmate Bernie Sanders. Holla at you later.